If you have a GPU issue such as low FPS, black screens, game crashes, or games just feel sluggish or unstable, this could fix it in just minutes. In this video, I'll be showing you how you can use DDU or Display Driver Uninstaller to do a complete fresh installation of GPU drivers to get fully updated alongside clearing out any old GPU drivers completely. You can get Windows activated from as little as $16 using WhoKeys. Use the links in the description down below, choose from Windows 10, Windows 11, or Office. Use code PAN20 at checkout check out for an additional 25% off your order and to help support the channel. Pay via a secure payment method, including PayPal. Once purchased, your key will be available immediately. Head over to activate Windows, paste the key, will then have access to all Windows features and no more watermark. The Windows 10 keys will also allow you to upgrade to Windows 11. Use the links in the description down below and a massive thanks to WhoKeys for sponsoring this video. First of all, we need to download the latest GPU driver available for your GPU, which we will then use once DDU has cleared out all of our old drivers. If you're not sure what GPU you have, simply Simply head down to your taskbar, right click, open task manager. On the left hand side, go to the performance tab, just scroll all the way towards the bottom where you'll then be able to find your GPU. For me, I have an Nvidia GeForce RTX 4060, but you could have an AMD Radeon GPU or an Intel Arc GPU. Google search drivers for your GPU. If you had an Nvidia GPU, search for Nvidia drivers. An AMD Radeon GPU, search for AMD Radeon drivers or an Intel or Intel Arc GPU, search for Intel or Intel Arc drivers. For NVIDIA users, head to nvidia.com. For AMD users, head to amd.com. And for Intel users, head to intel.com. I have an NVIDIA GPU. Under the manual search, all you need to do is select your product type. I mean, that's GeForce. It's an RTX 40 series, and I'm using Windows 11. Select Find. You can select from the Game Ready or the Studio Driver, depending on your use case. Most of you will go with Game Ready. Select View. And on the left-hand side, select Download. For those of you on AMD Radeon GPUs, instead of selecting the Auto Detect section, scroll down slightly further to the Manual Search. Select Graphics. Select your line of product. I have an RX 7000 series and I have an RX 7600. Once you've input your model specs, go down to Submit. Select the operating system you're currently using. I wouldn't recommend going with the auto detect option. Instead, I would go with the full driver, then select download. Last but not least, for those of you on Intel GPUs, you'll be able to find your driver information towards the top. Just download the latest driver that supports the graphics card or integrated graphics you're currently using. Next, we need to get DDU or display driver uninstaller. Head over to Google and search for display driver uninstaller. You can choose to go with the Guru3D Mirror or directly to wagnardsoft.com. Either option works. Inside of here, you'll usually find the latest version at the top. Select read more. Scroll down towards the bottom to click here for download and support. Scroll down again where you'll then be able to find the portable version or the installer version. Either option is fine to go with, but I'm going to be going with the portable. And once your GPU driver and DDU are both downloaded, I would recommend putting them both onto your desktop. Head over to DDU, double click, then select Extract. You'll then be given a DDU folder on your desktop. Before we utilize DDU, I like to disable network connections temporarily whilst we're doing this, as once we clean out our old GPU drivers and reboot into Windows, Windows might attempt to install an older default driver before we can install our newer updated driver. You can stop this from happening by temporarily disabling your network connection and that is recommended to do so. Whether you're using Wi-Fi or Ethernet, right click on your network connection in the bottom right, select network and internet settings. Scroll down to the bottom to advanced network settings, then select disable next to all of your network adapters. Next up, to ensure that we can actually uninstall our current GPU driver that is in use, we need to reboot into Windows safe mode. This is super quick, simple, and highly recommended to do to get Get the best results, hold the left shift key on your keyboard. Whilst holding that down, head down to the Windows button, right click on the power option and select restart. Once you see this screen, let go of left shift, head down to troubleshoot, advanced, startup settings, restart. Under the multiple options, we're going to select number four on the keyboard to boot into standard safe mode. Log in as you typically would. Inside of the desktop, open the display driver uninstaller folder, then open the application. Feel free to read through this, then select OK. We're not going to use any custom options, so just exit out of the tab that opens up. On the right hand side, go to the drop down menu for device type and select GPU. Go down to the GPU model and select the model of the GPU you're currently using. For me, that's Nvidia, but for you, it could be AMD or Intel. Head to the top left hand side to clean and restart. This will then automatically restart your system once DDU is completed, and this can take up to a few minutes. Once you've rebooted back into Windows, log in once again as you typically would. Before you're tempted to re-enable your network connection, we now need to install that latest driver we downloaded earlier. 
For me, I'm on an NVIDIA system, so I'm going to be selecting my NVIDIA driver. Then just run through the typical driver installation process that you have done before. Select any custom options if you wish to go with them, or just select the default options and allow the GPU driver to fully install. Once your AMD, NVIDIA, or Intel driver is finished installing, select close to any prompt that comes up. I would then lastly recommend restarting your PC one last time, just to make sure that everything in Windows, your games and applications, detect the GPU with the latest drivers. All we then need to do is go to the bottom right, right click on the network options, go to network and internet, go down to advanced network settings, then re-enable any and all of those network adapters to re-establish your network connection. At this point, before jumping into any games, it is recommended to double check that you have set the correct resolution and refresh rate for your monitor, as these will typically have been reset. It's then also recommended to go through any custom settings you may have set up in the NVIDIA control panel, AMD Radeon control panel, or Intel Arc panel. Alongside making sure that if you are someone that utilizes G-Sync, FreeSync, or variable refresh rate of any kind, make sure that all of those options are re-enabled. When you boot into games for the first time, some of your in-game settings may have also reset back to the default, so make sure that you do go over those, and there you have it. You've successfully uninstalled old, outdated GPU drivers from your system with DDU and installed a fresh, updated GPU driver. And if you have enjoyed this video and found value from it, a like would be fantastic, but make sure that you do save it to come back to later. If you happen to forget some of the extra steps, or if you want to share this on with someone that could be experiencing GPU issues, thank you ever so much for taking the time to watch this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.